What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy. Some, some, some. Hit the keys. Here today to do a quick review and demonstration over Samp Lab desktop app. If you guys remember a few months back, I did a review over the original plugin by Samp Lab, uh, where basically you could take audio and drop it in the plugin and it converts it to MIDI for you so you can get the notes. Well, with the desktop app, you can take multiple different audios, put them together, and it'll put them all at the same tempo and all in the same key, and it's free. Make sure if you guys like this content, though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell, so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. But let's go ahead and get right into this review. Push. Some, 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 hit the key. All right, guys, so when you download this app, it's very simple to install. All you have to do is drag the app from your download folder onto your desktop and boom, it's installed. Um, so then you'll click on it and it'll open it up. I already have it open down here. So when you open it up, it is going to be ginormous on your screen. So it's gonna look like this. Um, you can leave it large if you want to, or you can shrink it. So boom, we're just gonna shrink it. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab some samples real quick. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hop into these drum kits. I'm going to grab some samples from my guy Patton Sounds um, drum kit or sample pack that just came out. If you guys like the samples that you hear, I will leave the link below in the description so you guys can check it out. Um, but let's go ahead and hop in here and we're just going to grab some random um, melodies and mesh them together. Um, so let's go ahead and hit trap. Um, and we'll go ahead and start with something that's 140 D minor. Um, so let's go ahead and go into stems. And what does this sound like? Yes, sir. So we're going to grab this right here, this art key. And we'll drop it in there. And then what's going to happen is this screen's going to pop up next. So you have to tell it whether it's harmonic or percussive. So we're going to pick harmonic. Um, currently with this plugin, you only get 10 seconds of audio. So you obviously can keep dropping audio in and cutting it and so on and so forth. Um, sometimes the tempo doesn't sync right as well. Keep in mind, I do have a beta version. They have told me that they are working out all the kinks. And I also want to say that they are the next update on this is going to be where you can export MIDI into a DAW so that you can use the MIDI. But currently you can only uh, transport um, audio, but I'll show you guys the fix for that. Um, so basically we want this to be 140. So boom, bam, 140 is the tempo. Um, and I just want 16 beats, uh, so four bars. So we'll just put 16 in there. And now let's listen to it. All right, so we're done with that. Boom, bam, we'll drop it in here. And then no differently than the other Samp Lab plugin, um, you can see here that you can move notes around. So if you wanted to, you know, you can change uh, the notes in the MIDI in that sample. So, boom. And so then you can also add notes if you want to. So I'll just take this, copy this, and then paste it, and then boom. You know, I can add more notes if I want to, and then boom, it'll sound like this. You know, obviously we're not gonna do that though, so let's go ahead and delete that. Let's move this note back to where it was at. All right, so let's go ahead and find a different sample from the sample pack. Uh, so let's go ahead and back up out of here. Um, and let's grab something from, I guess this floating. Let's see what's in here. Um, let's see here, stems. Let's grab this piano. So all we have to do is drag the piano on here. Hit harmonic. And then boom, you see the tempo is still a little off, but like I said, um, I think they're fixing that in the, the version that they release. Um, and so then all I would have to do is push enter there, make sure we make our, our beats the same as what you have the other sample, or it's going to give you a short sample. Um, so we want to make that 16, see what it sounds like. All right. So now we're done with that. And so now it's going to drop it in here. And when you're looking at it, you can look at it in one of two ways. You can look at just one of the melodies, so you can toggle back and forth between the melodies, or you can highlight them both, and then it'll give you all the stuff here. Um, so let's go ahead and turn that off and just listen to one. 
And so I'm going to turn um, this metronome off. And this is what it sounds like. So obviously you want to make sure you stretch this out too, to four. So, you know what I'm saying? Right on time, you know? Um, so let's go ahead and grab one more little melodic piece. Um, let's grab something out of, I guess, let's go here at 150. Um, stems. What does this sound like? So we'll grab that. Let's drop this in here. Harmonic. And then we want to make it 16. Um, we see right here that it's 150 BPM. It caught that BPM correctly though. Um, and so then this is what it sounds like um, in there. So now you can do a few things. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and um, drop this piano right over here. So boom, you can drop it right here. Or um, what you can do is you can also drop it into FL Studio. So let's go ahead and take all these samples and drop them in there. Um, and so you can take them all as one sample or you can take them separately. I'm going to take them separately because then you can arrange a beat. Um, and so boom. You know what I'm saying? Now we have them all in FL Studio and they sound like this. All right, so boom, just like that, you got a melody. Um, and so I will say, do not plagiarize. Um, I would definitely say make these samples your own. Um, but for the sake of time, for the demonstration, I am going to show you how quick it is that you can make a beat with this plugin. Um, so just like that, we'll just extend that out. Um, and so then let's go ahead and find a drum loop real quick. Uh, we'll come over here to Simon Servita because, you know, Simon never lets me down. Boom, 140. Um, so let's take this kick. Um, let's take this rim. Let's take this snare. These hi-hats. All right, so we're gonna take all this stuff right here um, and then let's just copy it over. I know I can cut and uh, copy and paste, but you know, I didn't <laughs> shoot me. Um, so now, boom, just like that, now we have a beat, you know? And just like that, you can put together something. I do want to show you guys one more little thing that's pretty cool about the plugin as well. Um, so let's go ahead and go here to Assorted. So what you can also do is you can take the melody. So we, remember we grabbed those, um, that piano, and let's go ahead and drop it into Sample Lab. So if we drop it into Sample Lab, it's going to, this is the, the original Sample Lab. Um, if we, you know, wait one second while it processes the audio, Boom, now we have those piano chords and we can do that with all the samples that we have taken and now made the same key and had them all um, changed to the same BPM. So now what we can do is basically drag this and drop those pianos in there. And now we have the piano that sounds like this. And so then we can go through with each of the different sounds or the different samples that we want to use. And then we can start changing them around and start making them our own. So now we can start adding counter melodies or moving these notes around or doing all kinds of different stuff um, just to make a sample our own. So 
Um, in my personal opinion, I think that this is a very solid plugin. Um, shout out to the people over at Samp Lab for, I mean, holding it down. You know, obviously you can't complain when you can get a plugin for free that detects the key for you of the sample. The sample um, BPM may not be 1000% accurate, but you know, it is what it is. Um, peanuts to an elephant. Um, so I would definitely recommend grabbing this because again, it's free um, and it can help you with your sampling and it might even just help you with stuff with, you know, as you're taking a sample and chopping it up and trying to figure out which direction that you want to go with the sample and kind of see what the chord progression is or kind of see, you know, different things. If you want to learn how people are putting together different chord progressions, it can do so much for you more so than just copy a melody. It can teach you about, you know, some music theory. So uh, make sure if you guys like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some hit the key.